it's been kind of a crazy year for the 500, a tough year, right? Um, I, I think this year kind of took a haircut on, uh, on revenues kind of across the board, wouldn't you say, Al? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's, a, as a group, it's smaller. I mean, one way to look at it is last year, the revenues of the Fortune 500 were equal to almost 70% of the GDP of the US. This year it's down to 66%. So you have both the effects of a slowing economy and you have the effects of people leaving the list to invert or go private or uh, otherwise. And that's impacting a number of different industries, although one industry kind of took a, a pretty hard hit. Uh, energy, right? Clobbered. Yeah, I mean, that was the biggest uh, reason that you saw revenues drop overall by about 4% oil and gas. The fallout from lower oil prices really hit the oil and gas sector hard. So you saw big companies, Exxon and Chevron, and all the way down, you know, taking a hit. Um, but then that boosted other industries. That put money in the pockets of U.S. consumers, and they bought cars, and they bought houses, and the airlines made more profits because their fuel costs went down. So, you know, there's winners and losers. A Andrew, one way to think about that, what happened to energy, you know, uh, uh, Exxon and Walmart used to buy for the top spot. They were kind of neck and neck. This year, Exxon was about half the revenues of Walmart. And it's not like it's been such great times for Walmart. No, either. Walmart's revenues actually pulled back very slightly. Exxon's revenues dropped by something like $140 billion. It was still number two. That gives you a sense of how huge it was. But, you know, a massive, massive pullback.